Hello, in this video, I am going to show you how to sideload applications onto your Oculus Quest using SideQuest on a Linux machine. If you want to do it on Windows or Mac, feel free to check out the videos that I've got covering that. So this is for Oculus Quest 2, Oculus Quest and Oculus Go all are covered. So this assumes that you've already set up your device and you're all, you know, you're in it and you're all good to go. OK, so the first thing that we need to do is download SideQuest. So if we literally Google SideQuest and I'll provide a link to everything that you need. There's usually a get SideQuest button here. Because I'm quite zoomed in, it's not appearing. So if I zoom out, you'll probably see it's uh, still not yet. So let me zoom out a bit more. As you can see, it appears right there, get SideQuest. But if, like me, you, let's say, oh, I'm zoomed in for the purpose of the tutorial, but you may be zoomed in for another reason or you might have a small display. If it doesn't appear there, you can just scroll down, go to Get Side Quest. And then from here, you want to click the Linux download and you'll automatically start downloading. I'm going to cancel it because I've already got it downloaded. Next step is to create an organization and just go to dashboard.oculus.com, click continue. Make sure you are signed into your Oculus account using the Oculus account or Facebook account. If you're not, it will let you know. So once you're here, you wanna to go to create new organization, put anything you want. This is technically like your developer name organization. You can create multiple like you, could, you, know, like you can see. Um, I'm just going to put Epic Oculus Studio and obviously if it already exists then he'll let you know and you'll have to choose another one click I agree and there we go it is now created that's it for the dashboard side next what we need to do is we don't need to do anything to do with drivers we can skip that step because we're on Linux and you need to enable developer mode and reboot your Oculus device. So what we're going to do is switch over to the mobile device, whether that's an Android or an iOS device that you use to activate your Oculus Quest, Oculus Quest 2, Oculus Go, and we'll enable developer mode. And remember, after you've done that, make sure you reboot your Oculus device. So I'll see you on the phone. Okay, so we're going to enable developer, no, 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 developer mode on our Oculus. So this assumes that you've already, you know, this stage assumes that you've already set up your Oculus Quest and you've already connected it to this particular phone. Make sure you're on the same Wi-Fi. Make sure your device is on. So you want to open up the Oculus app and you want to go to settings. And then from here, find your Oculus Quest 2. Click it, it will connect. Now, what you want to do is go to more settings. If that doesn't appear, just click the drop down, go to more settings. And from here, this is optional only. I mean, this ain't optional. This won't necessarily be the case if you haven't got an unlock pattern. Go to unlock pattern. If you haven't got one, that is fine. If you do, just remove it while you are doing these steps. But again, I haven't got one, so I don't need to worry about it. Go to developer mode, click enable like so, and that is it. Okay, we are back. We have enabled developer mode on our Oculus Quest, Quest 2, Go, potentially a future device, and make sure you have rebooted your device. So now what we can actually do is, you know, install SideQuest. So go to where you've downloaded it and if you just right click extract here and you'll start extracting obviously extract it however you can depending on which operating system you are on and go to side quest now from here uh, we need to run this file it did not run let me go to properties yeah, it's allowed executing, so that is strange why it is not executing. So what we'll do, we'll just open it up via terminal. We'll literally just put CD and we'll drag and drop this on. We need to get rid of that because we won't actually CD to the directory, but I find doing that is easy as well. Type in side quest. 
Mm, command not found. Uh, dot four slash side quest. There you go. It has now launched. Okay, so if quest, and this is red because we haven't connected our device. So we're going to connect our device. I'm using one of these cables, uh, Amazon Docker UK. Um, I'm using one of these. So they're pretty cheap. They're not the cheapest cable that you can get, but they work great. I can confirm from my personal experience, they work with Oculus Link as well. So you can play Oculus Rift games on your Quest device if your operating system supports it. So this is the one I would recommend. Obviously, this end goes into your Oculus headset. This goes into your computer. You can try the one that comes with your device. Um, I've heard it's hit and miss. I haven't personally tried it myself. And obviously, that assumes you've got a USB Type-C connector on your computer or on your laptop. So what you want to do is connect it up. So I'm just about to, um, where's the USB Type-C cable gone? so many cables connected here my linux machine is a temporary machine well it's not temporary it's, it is permanent it's just very rarely gets turned off so i'll connect a few things when i need to but it only gets turned off for tutorials so if i go back i've connected the headset via cable it says warning no permissions adbu dev rules are missing okay so we're going to put the headset on Okay, so I'll put the headset on. I clicked allow to be able to access the folder. Now in the headset, it's asking for allow USB debugging. And from that, I would recommend selecting always allow from this computer. That way, again, assuming that you trust this computer, you can disconnect the device and you know reconnect, click allow. That will turn green momentarily. So it is turned green. And if I show you, I will disconnect my Oculus Quest. I will reconnect it and it'll go green. It says warning, no permission, ADBU dev rules missing. Again, if you have that little problem, then all you want to do is put your headset on. You'll say allow access to data, click allow, and that appears. So that's an extra step that you have to do in Linux. That purple error does not occur when you're doing it on Mac or Windows, at least not from my experience. So that's just a little extra step. But again, that's the reason I create these videos for different operating systems. There are little small nuances that unless you know about them, you can easily, you know, get stuck there for ages. I you know it's happened to me. Okay, so now to install something, there's two methods. Either one, use the application then games off the side quest store and a lot of them are free and there's so many great ones and the other one is to install it via an apk however you've got that backup of something or maybe it's been distributed outside of side quest i'll show you both methods so if let's say let's say let's say if i chose lambda one vr it's the one i choose for these tutorials it's pretty small that's the main reason why and there'll be a button that'll pop up here somewhere Oh, there it is install to headset so click install and then you'll appear here it's installing so there we go so if i click that as you first you'll download the apk and then you'll install it the installation depending on how big the game is or application is can be just like if you, you'll, you'll take like two seconds <laughs> for this because this is a very small game so that's installed. Before I actually show you how to access the games, let me show you the other method. So if, for example, I have a game, so I've got in download this game called T. It's actually available on SideQuest Store, but I wanted to show you how to install something if you had an APK. So what you want to do is make sure you've selected this. If, if you haven't, if you're even if you're not, you haven't selected anything yet, you want to be here. And now you want to drag and drop this APK on. 
annual basically first checks if it's blacklisted and if it's not then you'll install the apk and that's it that's all good to go so we can close this down now exit side quest and we can close so before when i was saying allow usb debugging this is a sort of message that will appear make sure you've got the unlock pattern turned off i already showed you that in the phone portion of this but i just want to reiterate that and again try a phone usb phone cable you know like that sort of cable that i recommended or if you do have a phone that's pretty new and has a usb type c cable with it then use that one okay so we can close this down and before we actually end the tutorial what i want to do is uh, we can close this down what i want to do is actually show you how to play the game because it doesn't appear in the normal place so let me start recording the screen which you'll see momentarily so if I go to share we go to okay so you should be seeing the screen now the oculus screen and if you go to the library down here all your normal games and applications appear here but even if you've got all selected the one that we've just installed will not so you want to click this go to the bottom go to unknown sources again it says zero or the way it says 19 now and i've got a bunch of different games and applications here that i've test that i'm just testing so i can choose one of these so if i click lambda one vr and any permissions that he asks for that's fine just click allow different applications will allow for different stuff and there we go we have lambda one vr and i am going to quit this now and shut down the recording so okay recording has shut down so that is it that is how you side load applications onto your oculus quest quest 2 oculus go on a linux machine such as ubuntu but it could be something else like mint for example or something else and yeah it's that simple if you have any questions feel free to let me know and as usual i look forward to seeing you in the next video